As you do your work here at the, at the Hague for the International Criminal Court, what does the, the shadow of Nuremberg mean to you, or the legacy of Nuremberg mean to you? No, I, think, I think this idea is showing how the humanity is learning. Humanity produces catastrophes and chaos and killings, but also humanity is learning. Um, because, you know, if after the First World War was not possible to prosecute the Kaiser, for instance, Nuremberg was setting a different example. But Nuremberg was a landmark, but not an institutional system. So, because basically, Nuremberg promoted the idea to have a permanent core, but it was not possible. So, the Cold War pre prevent this idea, and then the world had to assist to, to genocide to go back to the idea. So, and the evolution is Nuremberg was created by four countries, just to persecute a specific group of people. Then. You move in 93, Security Council created Yugoslavia, 94, Rwanda Tribunal, and then the idea was expanded and, and the idea gained momentum. But not just inside the international, because also for Argentina, did they prosecute, prosecute the generals in the 85, and in 98, the Rome Treaty was approved, but also was Pinochet case in, in London. So it's a general idea, they won't need to deal with the problem in a different way. And then, yeah, for me, the legacy is, is, is Nuremberg first, then the tribunals, ad hoc tribunals, and then now is the ICC, who is in some way is taking advantage of the evolution. So the, the tribunals took Nuremberg and then go, they went beyond because they developed the law. And uh, now the, the Rome Statute has a, the law is, is codified. So you have a a very clear, it's like a criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. So you have a, an agreement between more than 120 states, including the US, on the law. So there is no problem with the law because basically most of the, many aspects came from the US. So the law is clear, the procedure is clear. So it's, it's in, even the, the rules trying to harmonize the investigations and justice with the political effort to negotiate conflict, giving some tools to the Security Council, defining that as soon the national state have, have always uh, primacy. So it's a very complex and interesting new system. So that is the evolution. So I would say, yes, it's a huge, it's a, without Nuremberg, nothing would be possible. In this sense, it's absolutely it's, it's a cornerstone of the system. Today, during the Chautauqua Declaration and the news conference afterwards, uh, I think you brought up the fact that the concluding paragraph of the Declaration was a quote from Justice Jackson. What does a Robert Jackson mean to you? Uh, no, it's funny because Jackson was the first prosecutor, and then um, not just a prosecutor; he was key in creating Nuremberg. And the, the quote we have in our manifesto. It's interesting because it's exactly, it's absolutely what I think. So, in my in our in a, in in my speech, when I in my swinging speech, I say the same with different words. I say, uh, basically, national to protect citizens, national states are not enough now. And the twin tower attack is a tragic example that even the, the one of the biggest countries in the world cannot protect its own citizens alone if there is no rule of law in the world. Mm -hmm. So, in different world, but I think the same that Jackson is saying, is the, I, I say those days, the only way to protect citizens is if we can protect each citizen in each part of the world. So the only way to protect people in one country is to protect people in all the world. So to start rule of law in the world. And that's the concept. And that's why Jackson was a visionary. Jackson saw this in very early. And, and it's interesting for me because, yes, it's like a, we, my part is okay, try to build a, a step ahead, no? Try to put the next block. This is my part. But I had to bait in what other people did, as Jackson and even Whitney Harris and all these people. So it's fascinating for me. It's fantastic to see these men who, who were involved in different things but so committed with this idea, you know? That's, 
is something very important. I suppose I do the same with the young people. So, and I believe that's also important. It's not just where we come from, where we are going. I'm sure uh, in ten years the world will be totally different. Mm -hmm. I I used to say that this wrong trip is a huge step ahead because humanity is using exporting from the national system to international system, the criminal justice system. And I say it's a huge step ahead. And then one of my interns approached me and said, Prosecutor, wow, you're insisting it's such a huge step ahead. For me, it's normal. When I was in the law school, the ICT war was in the book. Mm -hmm. So for us lawyers, we know that's an incredible evolution, that then you know more about national system, it's something bigger. For her, it's normal, and I think it's great. This is for in ten years. There's a new generation of lawyers who will go ahead and go further. So I think it's very interesting to see this evolution. Jackson and Whitney Harris and King, and and then see the, the what David Crane, David Tolbert talked today about how difficult it was just ten years ago in Yugoslavia like you now, and now everything was evolving. And it's also good for me because, you know, our job is difficult. Our job is, is complicated, so you, you have to ask when today, when the first Peter was talking about Jackson history, of course, today Jackson is in bronze. Mm -hmm. But in those days, I'm sure Jackson had to fight each, each meter, no, to move ahead. So that's our life, so we have to push, so it's hard. Well, I, I listen to you uh, manage process, manage cases. Uh, it's exactly what Jackson was doing in London when he, he had to sit down with the Allies. <clears throat> They'd never thought of a trial, so they had to agree that there would be one, let alone what it might look like, what the rules of the trial were, and then figure out who's going to be the defendants. But you're doing some of that also. It's different. In fact, the legal problems that Jackson had, I normally had solved it for me because uh, Jackson had to invent the legal framework. Mm -hmm. I received a legal framework approved by 120 states, so in this sense, as a lawyer, my life is easier. Yeah. The problem is, operationally, it's a problem, because for me, I had to get, collect evidence in impossible places, even in Darfur, I cannot go to Darfur, so the evidence collection is a very complicated activity, full of risk, and then arresting people is almost sometimes impossible, so my challenges are more operational than realistic. In the, in the case of... That's why, yes, the idea was evolving. So Jackson finds some solution and then the idea was so well being developed and now we have a clear set of rules. So mm -hmm. the, the law is clear. The diff the, but of, as you say, I, so I had to be a lawyer, but I had to be also a manager because I like a, I'm like a small, medium law firm working in different regions, so, and then with all the problems I have, I, and with, with lawyer from 52 countries, so yeah. it's complicated. With a stakeholder who are, have the diverse interests, so it's complicated because my shareholders are, have different interests, sure. so it's complicated. Um, with a, a, a incredibly important investigative challenge, how to prove this case is a big issue. And then you have to deal with this, uh, with the, we had to get cooperation from state, so mm -hmm. we had to deal with countries even like Sudan, who is against our intervention. So it's, it's very challenging. That's why it's so interesting. And then you have the you have to communicate what we are doing, and then you have to think what we are doing. So that's why there are many dimensions, and I, that's why I like my job. Thank you. I think I appreciate very much. I think it's very important to keep this idea, to remember what Jackson did. I think that is a very, for me, it's very important. Because um, the, this idea of international justice is something that came from people like Jackson. So I have to remember the origin, the roots, and I understand some political concerns, but it's important to keep remembering, okay, this is something that people like Jackson generate. So uh, I think it's very important to to understand the origins, understand what he was trying to do, and see what we are doing is very aligned, you know, very in the same line, so it's, it's very good. So I appreciate your effort and thank you very much.